Yo guys, what's up? It's Schiller from the Schillerverse. And I wanted to take you back in time, back to the time when I first got introduced to Umbria many, many months ago. If you remember, this was back when NBA Top Shot was really uh, taking off, when, you know, Zed Run was also having all the drops where we ended up losing a ton of gas for. And it was a really cool time because at that same time was roughly when we minted Board Ape Yacht Club. It was April 2021. I had Kaser on stream talking about new cryptocurrencies that people were sleeping on. And at the moment I asked him which one was going to surprise people, he pointed to none other than Umbria. So Nick asked this question. This is a super loaded one. And again, answer this with a complete grain of salt. And I've absolutely never, guys, financial advice. Uh, what do you think is the best coin to potentially make someone rich? Or which one do you think has potential to shock everyone and kind of come out of the woodworks? Umbria. Umbria? I mean, I'm making I'm making a thousand dollars a week farming right now, and that thousand dollars will be ten grand a week by the end of year. <clears throat> All right, proceeds to go and Google what this Umbria thing is. Sorry, you said Umbria? DeFi on Polygon, staking, farming, liquidity pools. These were all words that I had no idea, and they were all foreign to me. But all I could say was I was intrigued. I decided then and there to invest in the Umbria team, and it's been a wild ride following their journey ever since then. If you're new to Umbria, it's important to know that the Umbria ecosystem is made up of three different protocols. So protocol number one, a cross-chain asset bridge which enables the transfer of assets between otherwise incompatible blockchains and cryptocurrency networks. It's like transferring Polygon to Ethereum. The bridge is super user-friendly and it's easy to use. There's no clunky hiccups. Protocol number two, a staking pool, where users can earn interest on their cryptocurrency by providing liquidity to the bridge. It's Umbria's way of saying you invest in us and we invest in you. Gotta love that. But trust me, it gets better. Liquidity providers of the Umbria token earn a portion of all fees generated by the bridge. So whether that's coming from the Binance Smart Chain, whether that's coming from Polygon, anywhere where it's bridging over to the Ethereum network, the Umbria token liquidity providers, which has no impermanent loss and you don't need the other pair, where typically you'd have to have Umbria and Ethereum, just taking the Umbria is the way to get all of those fees, which is pretty sweet. And protocol number three of the Umbria network is a decentralized exchange or DEX. It's a ridiculously fast, low fee DEX for trading assets, powered by Polygon POS chain and Ethereum scaling solution. If you're like me and have a bunch of tokens and want flexibility to freely move your funds between various cryptocurrency networks, you don't want to be trading your assets in different locations. You want it in one particular place for ease of access and Umbria's ecosystem provides all of that and so much more. It's an easy to use network connection interface for every major compatible chain with the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM for short. With Umbria's Connect Portal, you can connect your MetaMask wallet to any EVM compatible network. Umbria is focused on speed and efficiency, and with the Connect Portal, you can quickly configure your wallet to interact with their assets on the desired network without having to manually configure remote procedure cell or RPC connection. So whenever you've done the drop down for MetaMask, if you're trying to connect to the Binance Smart Chain, Matic, sometimes you have to fill out all that information. Talk about a time saver. I don't know about you, but the less manual work I have to do, the less Schiller errors. The Connect Portal also provides useful information regarding the connected chain, such as chain ID and a link to the network's native blockchain explorer, if such an explorer exists. Gotta love having a little bit of extra information at your fingertips. When I started buying Umbria tokens back in April, Umbria had all these ideas in the works. What they've accomplished in seven months makes me extremely bullish on the future. This is a team that continues to deliver above and beyond. And the Umbria Narni Bridge is a great example of that. In a nutshell, which I'm allergic to, the Umbria Narni Bridge is a cross-chain asset bridge, which enables the migration of assets between cryptocurrency networks. We're talking Matic mainnet and Ethereum mainnet. We have Binance Smart Chain, Solana, and Avalanche coming very, very soon as well. With the Narni Bridge, users can seamlessly move their assets across chains using the Narni Bridge's liquidity bridging model. Bridging is incredibly quick and incurs extremely low fees in comparison to validator driven bridges where you might have already done on the Matic mainnet before. Umbria is continuously giving back to its community of supporters. Just look at the bridge pool. If you provide asset liquidity to the Narni bridge, you can earn a high interest on your assets whenever someone uses the bridge to migrate between cryptocurrency networks. Let that sink in for a moment. It's kind of mind blowing. 
The Narni Bridge uses supplied liquidity to facilitate asset migration, bridging across networks. Whenever bridging occurs, liquidity providers earn their share of a 0.2% bridging fee. Liquidity providers can provide a single asset to the bridge and earn interest in the native asset that they supplied. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do you get the Umbria token? So if you end up going to umbria.network, you'll be able to see two different options to be able to trade for Umbria. If you're on the Ethereum network, you can trade Umbria and then it'll populate down here. You select the top token as ETH and then set whatever amount that you'd be interested in getting. And if you happen to want to use the Polygon network, you are able to click trade Umbria and you'll be able to see here where it pops up for the Matic. You'll select your token. You'll type in U-M-B-R and there's Umbria right there. And then you're able to trade your Matic. Bada boom, bada bing. Now, if you wanted to take it one step further and farm Umbria, you're also able to do that where they have all these options laid out here on the website. So you go to the Ethereum network and then Umbria farm. Once this loads up here, you'll see a, a lovely graphic when you go in to start farming. You might recognize some of the people on the screen here. So when you're in here, if you've never done farming before, it says Uni V2 Umbria ETH LP tokens staked. And so obviously I don't have anyone's in here right now because personally I'm not farming. I just have my Umbria in the bridge occurring the those uh, fees from people bridging with no impermanent loss. But if I'm wanting to add to this, what I would do is I would go to uniswap.org. I would launch the app. I would click on pool on the top here, and then I would go down to more and go to V2 liquidity. So then I would say add V2 liquidity. I have the Ethereum. I would type in Umbria. I'd go on that and then I would create it through here. So you'd put whatever amount of Umbria you have. You'd have to match that within the ETH evaluation. You enter it, go through. And then once you have those LP tokens, you're able to go back through here, add those. Uh, you hit max, um, confirm it, and then you'll be able to see and you're pretty much good to go. If you ever have any questions about Umbria and you're wanting to learn from the amazing team, you're able to check them out and follow them here on Twitter with this page. Or if you're wanting to see their other social media, including Discord, when you go down to their drop down menu at Umbria.network, you'll see their Discord, Telegram, Reddit, Twitter, Medium, Facebook, and Instagram. They got it all covered. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.